Okay guys, today I'm going to give my 100% honest review of the most recent Brawl Stars update. As always, there are some things that I really love, but there are also some things that I really think need to be improved. <laughs> Starting off, let's go ahead and talk about Rosa. Now, I've already shared how I think she's going to be like ridiculously overpowered, but I also think that she's going to be mostly overpowered in lower trophy areas before people learn how to keep their distance. After that, once people push up to like 300 trophies, um, which will be super easy. After that, she's gonna become a little bit more like El Primo. Incredibly strong, up close, arguably OP, but very manageable to the skilled player. Really what it's gonna come down to is just keeping your distance so that Rosa can't charge her super because her super is what is so incredibly strong. Like I said, later on, people learn how to keep Rosa away and then she becomes less of a problem. Now I think that Supercell actually learned a lot from releasing Jean and Carl um, way too weak. They were just really weak, they were boring, they were frustrating, it was exciting to get new brawlers but then you go out to try and play them and it just like, uh, I can't play this brawler, you know, it's just, I don't want to play this brawler. Now I'm really excited for everybody to get Rosa because she's actually a rare brawler. Props to Supercell for making her rare. I'm really excited about that. But the thing with Rosa is that everyone's going to get her. Everyone's going to try and upgrade her as much as you possibly can. Make sure you are starting to save those boxes now if you haven't already so she'll actually be strong because you'll want her to be as strong as possible. And I think that it will make things really exciting for like a week or two uh, and then people will start to complain about Rosa being everywhere and then Supercell can find a good nerf for her to put her into uh, her place. Now let's talk about Bo's remodel. It's not that it's bad. It's just, it's just not Bo. I think the artist did an incredible job with Bo's remodel. Also, I think it is absolutely hilarious that his eagle hat is like a baseball cap. It's super hilarious, but his last model was filled with so much personality. He seemed like this wise Native American man and now he's all cartoony. And while I think that that's actually a better fit for the Brawl Stars' theme now, the old Bo will always be my heart's bow. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna miss you, bow. Carl's voice, love his lines. They're super cheesy. I'm super cheesy. I love that. It fits him incredibly well. I think that, yes, Carl, geology rocks. Your voice has my uh, stamp of approval on it. <laughs> the bunny penny skin. Love the skin. I think that they really missed out on an opportunity for the cannon to shoot colored eggs, but it's super cool and I can understand why they might not have decided to not actually um, make it so that the cannon shoots colored eggs. Now, the reason why is because we all know this, this is an Easter skin. It's an Easter skin, but Easter is traditionally a Christian holiday. And while the United States and a lot of European countries do celebrate Easter, there are several countries that do not celebrate Easter. And so rather than it being an Easter bunny skin, which it's not in the game, it's just bunny penny skin. And it's not like an exclusive holiday skin either. So then Supercell's like, well, it can't be Easter bunny, probably. I don't know if that's exactly what they're thinking, but. So then it's like, okay, well, if this can't be an Easter bunny skin, then it just has to be a bunny skin. And bunnies literally have nothing to do with eggs. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Why does the Easter Bunny give out eggs? Can somebody please tell me in the comment section below, like, why? Now the skin is really cool. I valued this skin as a 130 gem value skin and it costs 80, which is a positive 50 gem value. Plus, if you bought it at uh, its discounted price, it's even better. I think if it did actually shoot out colored eggs, I think 150 gems would have totally been justi justified. And uh, you never know, maybe they'll add it into the future. Or... But like I said, I can understand why they didn't. Shiba Nita skin. Now I've played with it but I can't show it to you completely. I will say though, it is freaking adorable. Probably the cutest skin in the game and I really can't wait to show you guys all of it because all you know of is the one still image that was from the Brawl Talk. Now let's talk about minecarts and gem grab. Okay, now I gotta be 100% honest. If the map has been available to play before today as I'm releasing this video, I must have missed it because I was working on a video or something like that, I don't know. So I actually have not been able to completely test this map out yet. I haven't even tried doing friendlies with it. That being said, I do love the idea and I cannot wait to see what other interactive terrains will be added into the game. And also I gotta say, minecarts, 
works so well with Brawl Stars, so it's really cool that they added it. Training Cave. I love the Training Cave. I've played around with it like a ton. I hope that, I imagine that some of you guys have played around with it a lot. I think the coolest part about the Training Cave is for most players to actually use it to test out brawlers that they don't have or skins before they actually purchase them. Or even like once a new brawler gets released, you can actually go and try it out. If you guys don't already know that, go try out Rosa right now. You can do it before she's released because they're teasing it. It's really, really cool. I think that the idea for the training cave is really awesome and I really hope that they actually add more things to it. I want some moving targets so that you can practice aiming with various brawlers. I also think it'd be cool if there was like a power cube box in there so you could test out some stronger brawlers. Also, it would be fantastic if you could actually turn your star power on or off so that you could mess with the brawlers that are like different levels and stuff like that. I think it's a really excellent feature that they added into the game. It's going to be particularly useful for new players to try, or try and figure things out. I'm absolutely going to be jumping into the training cave with my wife before we play the next video because, oh my goodness, she was terrible. I love you, Lady Kairos but I definitely did not marry you for your video gaming skills. <laughs> now let's talk about Brawl TV. I think this is a super cool feature. Um, I love that it's in the game. I do think that it really needs some tweaks. The first tweak is that Brawl TV absolutely should not spectate friendly rooms. A lot of esports teams use friendly rooms to try and like come up with new strategies, try out new compositions and things like that. And also, it might just be people screwing around, which I don't want to watch somebody screw around. And the second tweak that I think it needs is that it shouldn't show non-competitive modes modes like boss fight, robo rumble. I've played it a ton. The meta is incredibly stale. I don't want to watch other people play those modes. Like it shouldn't be in the rotation. The third tweak for Brawl TV is that I want the matches to be more competitive. I want the highest trophy matches that are going on. I don't want to watch 500s versus 500s. You have to be good to be at 500 trophies, but only the best of the best climb much higher than that. I want to see 700s versus 700s. Fourth tweak to Brawl TV is that I wish that you could actually just choose the mode that you wanted to spectate um, rather than for it to go through a rotation or give you the option to choose either a specific mode or a rotation. And of course, also then you could actually find the best comps for that are actually produced by the most competitive players. I really love Brawl TV. I think it's a really cool feature added into the game. I just think that it needs a few tweaks to make it even better. Okay, now let me show you one thing that I really don't like. This feature, having to click an extra button to find the leaderboard, to find Brawl TV, to find settings. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it. And there's a big reason why. There are features like the Brawl TV and the leaderboard that people really like. They're really cool features. And the way things are set up right now, you're gonna forget about these features. After a while, you'll be like, you have to remember, you'll be like, specifically, okay, I wanna go look at the leaderboard. And then you have to be like, wait, where's the leaderboard? Okay, I'll click on this, then I'll go to the leaderboard. Like, Supercell should want players to see these features readily available to them, and then go ahead and click on there. There's four icons over onto the left side of the screen. I'm okay with four icons being over on the right side of the screen. Oh my gosh, the other day, I, for the life of me, I could not find how to search for other clubs. I was like, where is it? You have to go onto social, and then you have to switch from the friends tab to the club tab, and then you have to look for searching for other clubs. It was like so many different clicks. The, the the chat and the fact that the social tab is split between friends and the club. Like there should be just like a club button and a social button. I, I don't want to split. Anyway, sorry. I think that the UI needs to be improved to make it so that it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't like how many times I have to click on things. And, uh, I'm just gonna get off my soapbox. You guys know how I feel. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. Gems for name changes. I love it. I don't know what else to say about that. Name color changes. Okay, I think this is a really cool feature, but I will say that I kind of miss the clean leaderboard filled with all the names being all the same color. I do think it's really cool that they're adding some more customization in there. Overall, I would say that I like the added customization over the cleanness of the old leaderboard, but uh, I don't know, it's interesting. 
I like it. What color did you guys go with? I went with yellow because it pops. Changes to Siege. I still think that more changes need to be made to Siege, but I really think that this update hit a lot of things in the right direction. I actually did a whole video on some changes that I think that Siege needs. I still think that plus 10, minus 10 is too harsh. I also think that the bolts need to spawn more quickly early on and less quickly later on. But I do understand the importance of making it so the players have a chance all the way through the end of the match to try and win. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about Siege now. Please let me know if you think Siege still needs some improvements. Improvements to random matchmaking. Now a tiny change in this most recent update is that they made it so matchmaking is a little harsher on players that are actually playing with a team instead of with randoms. They didn't go into very much detail about what this is. My guess is that this means that basically if you join with a an actual pre-designated team, you're more likely to face players with more trophies or you're more, more likely to actually face other teams so that it's a little bit more fair. I think this is a good way that they're trying to actually improve the random player experience. I still think that they need to do more to really improve the matchmaking for randoms. I really wish that they would give you an option to actually pair up with randoms and then select your brawler so that you could then create a better comp, but I've already talked a lot about that in another video. I don't need to go into more details. Anti-teaming changes in Showdown. Healing Mushroom is effectively making non-teamers the winner. And I love it. I've been loving seeing replays of people winning because the teamers are all bunched up in the middle, <laughs> avoiding the smoke, and the non-teamer is just getting healed by ring after ring after ring of, of healing mushrooms. I love it. I think it's hilarious. The meteor changes have also improved things a little bit by targeting teamers a little bit more naturally. I think that these natural in-game changes are the best way to get rid of teaming as a strategy. I know that Supercell will not just straight up ban teamers. I get it. I'm hoping that they're able to continue doing some things like this, some slight tweaks here and there to try and make it so that teaming is less of a viable option. And I think they're really going in the right direction. I, I'm just hoping for some more. I know it's hard. This is a hard problem to solve. And I think that they're doing it very carefully. And I'm proud of, her, of Supercell for doing that. No more teaming, please just stop the spin. Let's talk about balance changes. Congrats guys, you did it. Crow got a buff, even though I spent an entire video talking about why Crow did not need a buff, he got a buff. Now, granted, in that video, I talked about how Crow, even if he did get buffed, if Pam did not get nerfed, then Crow still would be a terrible option, and Pam got nerfed, but she didn't get nerfed as hard as I wanted her to be. So while Crow is being a more, a slightly more valid option in modes other than Showdown, now that he got his buff, Pam is kind of keeping him pushed back still in other modes, but didn't get a huge buff, but he did get somewhat of a buff. So it'll be interesting to see. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that he's balanced now? Please let me know. Crow, balanced? OP? Underpowered? I don't know. You guys tell me. Carl! Got such a strong buff. He's so good, incredibly in Siege. I'm really eager to play him a little bit more and think if he's act and try and decide if he's actually going to be OP or not. I really like the buffs for Piper, Daryl, Shelly, Poco. I also really like the nerf to Leon. Honestly, all these balance changes were really good and fun. But I was hoping for more, and I was hoping for bigger changes. I feel like the meta has been pretty much the same thing for a really long time. There have been minor tweaks here and there, and I'm just really hoping for some big changes. Don't get me wrong, guys. I think that the meta is in a really good place, but even a good meta for a long time is not good. It tends to make players, especially the more competitive ones, feel like the gameplay is really boring because it's the same thing over and over again. Now, Brawl Stars doesn't struggle with something like this as much as other MOBA games because the maps always change every single day and the event rotation also changes around as well. But Brawl Stars is not immune to that issue, especially with more experienced players because they will get bored of it if there aren't some bigger meta changes soon. I have a feeling that most of the people watching today's video have been been playing since like global and haven't been experienced this same meta as long as the be the beta players have been but the, for the beta players this has been the same meta for like eight maybe even ten months that's way too long that's way too long I really want to know what you guys thought about this update what did you really like and what did you dislike what can Brawl Stars do to further improve the game guys just let me know in the comment section below. Also, you can let me know what you think about my camera. As you can tell, I'm really excited about my camera. Oh yeah, and I also added some shelves and things to my, my office. It's, 
This is cool. This is my computer. Here's level six wizard from Clash of Clans. I got the archer right over there. This sweet tribe cup, am I right? And my thousand subscriber play button. You guys are fantastic. Thanks for making all this happen. I know that wasn't really the point of this video, but make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for future quality Brawl Stars videos. And if you're still watching this, you're the real MVP. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.